Hey everyone, Fire Steve here. Now with wildfire season rapidly approaching and pretty well here, I posted a video to my TikTok channel the other day talking about where to find up-to-date information on the wildfire statuses and all sorts of other good information. So I'm gonna post that following here, so hopefully you enjoy it. Where are some of the resources available to find this out? Well, thanks to this question right here, we're gonna talk about where to find this Alberta wildfire map information. Now the first place a person can go and look is just like anything else, there's an app for that. There's the Alberta Wildfire Status app, which includes the Alberta Wildfire Status map. Jeez, try to say that 10 times really fast. Now it's a really good app with lots of good information, especially if you want to keep up to date on the wildfires here in Alberta. But if you don't want to bog down your phone with extra apps, this map can also be accessed through the government website as well. Just simply put into Google Alberta Wildfire Map and then it pops up the Government of Alberta Wildfire Status link right here. Now this will bring you to the Government of Alberta website, more specifically the Alberta Wildfire portion. You just scroll down, there's some other links here, but just click on the View Interactive Map link and it'll load the map up right for you. Now I get it. Why make a video on how to get to that? I could have done that with a comment response. The big reason for a video response is not only do I want to show you where to find this information, but how to interpret the information as well. As you can see on the map behind me, there's a whole bunch of different fire emblems all around the province each with different corresponding colors. We got green, we got yellow, we got blue, and we also have red, but luckily right now we have no red on the map currently. All right, first off we have green, which means it's under control. This means that the fire is 100% contained and there's basically just mop up operations underway before they can classify the fire as completely extinguished and it disappears off this map here. Okay, yellow, which stands for being held, which basically just means that the fire is not 100% contained as of yet, but given the current predicted weather, and resources available, the fire is not anticipated to grow beyond its current boundaries. Next, we have red, which isn't on the map currently, but red stands for out of control. Now, I wanna talk about this one a little bit more in depth because I think when people hear out of control, they think this thing is going crazy, it is taking off, we have no control over the situation, which technically, no, it is not contained, we don't have enough resources on that fire to effectively keep it in the boundaries of that fire area. Now. An out of control fire could be a rip roaring blaze taking off towards a town, a city. It could be taking out large portions of forest, or it could be a small fire that just has not yet been contained. So just keep that in mind when you hear out of control wildfire, it may not be completely out of control, if that makes sense. Finally, let's talk about the blue flame because I know somebody's gonna ask about it. This just means this is mutual aid being provided by Alberta wildfire to an outside town, county, municipality, or in some cases, another province that lies outside of the Alberta Forest Protection Area. And also we have a lot of cool information on this wildfire map and dashboard as well. So this number right here represents the total amount of wildfires that includes carryover fires from last year, but not including the mutual aid responses. On the next slide, we have a comprehensive list of all those active wildfires in the Forest Protection Area, broken down by region. And also too, you can see which year that the fire started in. Next, we have a bar graph with the breakdown of the status of the fires, whether they're being held out of control or under control. The next slide shows a bar graph of the determined causes, whether they're still under investigation, caused by lightning, or caused by humans. Once again, human cause doesn't necessarily mean intentional. It very well could, but it just means that the fires were started as a result of human activity. This next slide further breaks down the status of the wildfires based on the forest protection region, based on the field office. And lastly, this one breaks down the total amount of landmass burned based on the field office or region that it is in. Woo, okay, that was a lot of information, but hopefully that was helpful and informative and allows people to get to know and familiarize themselves with where to find this information and what information is available coming into this 2024 wildfire season. So if you like this video, give it a like, share it out to some friends that you feel that may benefit from this information and follow for more.